Members, members, good afternoon. It's the appointed time of the House Committee meeting. We have a quorum. Members, please return to your seats and stay quiet. This is the first meeting of the year 2023. I hope that uh, we will go out of the epidemic as soon as possible and all trades and activities will will be revived. And I would also like to welcome the four new members for their attendance in the first House Committee meeting. I call the meeting to order. Number one item on the agenda, confirmation of minutes of meeting. Minutes of the 25th meeting held on the 9th of December 2022. Relevant paper has already been issued to members before the meeting. We have not received any proposed amendments from members, I ask members to endorse the minutes of meeting. Endorsed. Item 2, matters arising. Report by the chairman on her meeting with the chief secretary for administration. I myself and the deputy chairperson last met with the CS on the 12th of December. The CS indicated that since the commencement of the antechamber exchange sessions in July last year, the administration has been putting in place improvement measures to further enhance interaction and communication between the executive and the legislature. They will continue to improve the arrangement. I also note the views expressed in the last House committee. Members, please note that the Secretariat has issued a notice yesterday to members. The next exchange session will take place on the 18th of January, which is a Wednesday, between 9 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. In this exchange session, it will be led by the Deputy Finance Financial Secretary, the Secretary for Commerce and Economic Development, and the Secretary for Development will attend. Item 3. Legal Service Division reports on bills and subsidiary legislation. We have altogether three items presented to the House Committee under Rules of Procedure 54, uh, bracket 4. The first one is Inland Revenue Amendment Tax Concessions for Family Owned Investment Holding Vehicles Bill 2022. Legal Advisor, please. Thank you. You will find a report in LS 79 of 2022. The bill seeks to amend the Inland Revenue Ordinance to give um, profit tax concessions to certain family-owned investment holding vehicles and related entities. And these conditions include that a D FIHV, that is family owned investment holding vehicles, will have to be managed in Hong Kong. They have to meet the uh, minimum threshold of um, assets as well as relevant conditions. Please refer to paragraphs 4 to 15. And in relation to the profits tax concessions, it will apply in the year of assessment in 2023 20, to 24. And this will uh, come into effect on the day on which it is published in the Gazette. On the 4th of April, a panel on financial services has been consulted. The Legal Services Division, the Legal Service Division has been scrutinizing the bill. Since uh, it introduces a new profits tax concession regime, our members may consider forming a bills committee to study the bill in detail. That's all for my report. Thank you. Members, would you like to set up uh, to form a bills committee, I see many hands. Benson, Lok, Chen Chong Ni, uh, Nixie Lam, Lam Sun Kung, and Johnny. Eunice Xiong, and Duncan Chill, as well as a number of other members. I will ask the Secretariat to circulate papers to um, ask for members' indications. The second one is Road Traffic Amendment Autonomous Vehicle Bill 2022. Legal advisor, please. Thank you. You will find our report in LS80-2022. stroke This bill seeks to amend the Road Traffic Ordinance in relation to uh, the 
uh, pilot use of autonomous vehicles as well as a flexible regulatory regime. Uh, the Secretary for Transport and Logistics will be empowered uh, to make regulations. The direct the Commissioner for Transport may, upon certain conditions, be empowered to change traffic related provisions. And the proposal is that uh, these amendments will be done by administrative means. That means uh, the LegCo will not scrutinize it. For details, please refer to paragraphs 5 to 15 of the report. If this is endorsed, it will come into effect on a day to be appointed by the Secretary by notice published in Gazette. On the 21st of uh, May, as well as the 15th of July, we have um, consulted the panel on transport. Members generally supported the proposal. They expressed concerns about the driver, owners, and permit holders, uh, their uh, legal obligations and liabilities, as well as the offenses, as well as penalties. Well, this is the introduction of a new regulatory regime for autonomous vehicles. So road safety is uh, involved. Members may consider forming a bills committee to study the bill in detail. That's all for my report. Thank you, legal advisor. Members, would you like to form a bills committee? We have Mr. Lo Wai Kwok, Lok Chung Hong, Nick Si Lam, Xiu Ka Fai, Chong Hoi Long, Lam Sen Kang, Chen Xiu Hong, and Andrew Lam, Wong Kam Fai, and a number of other meetings. Item 3. Development, Town Planning, Lands and Works, Miscellaneous Amendment Bill 2022. Legal advisor, please. You'll find our report in LS81 of 2022. This bill seeks to amend six pieces of ordinances in relation to town planning, land resumption, land acquisition, etc. This is to streamline various statutory procedures in order to enhance the speed and efficiency in land production. This includes uh, shortening the uh, amending the consultation process, the objection handling procedure, to shorten the time limit of certain statutory procedures, and empower the government uh, to carry on in tandem a number of uh, statutory procedures. For details, please refer to paragraphs 4 and 19 of the report. And on the 22nd of um, March, the uh, government consulted the panel on development. Members expressed support, but they have also expressed concerns. There are over 100 provisions. The Legal Service Division is scrutinizing the legal and drafting aspects. Since it involves the introduction of a number of important changes to the development-related process, members may wish to form a bills committee to study the bill. That's all for my report. Thank you, legal advisor. Members, would you like to form a bills committee? We have a number of members. Louis Long, Siu Ka Fai, and a number of others. Chen Hock Fong, uh, Kenneth Edward Lau, Ch uh, Tony Tse, and, Ken, and Carmen Ken. Subsidiary legislation. There are eight items of subsidiary legislation to be handled. I will defer to the legal advisor. The first one is subsidiary legislation gazetted on the 9th of December 2022. You'll find our report in LS 82 of 2022. This covers one item of subsidiary legislation, LN 232. This amends the pharmacy and poisons ordinance in relation to schedules 3, 8, and 10 by adding eight substances. The effect is that the newly added substances will be subject to restrictions of, uh, on their sale, supply, labeling, and storage. And these substances can only um, be given with a prescription by registered medical practitioner, registered dentist, or registered veterinary, veterinary surgeon. And these substances are also added to the poisons list, which means that they can only be sold or registered premises of, of an authorized seller of poisons in the presence of a registered pharmacist. And these substances uh, can treat 
systematic lupus erythematosus, POMP disease, non-small cell lung cancer, and multiple sclerosis. And this comes in. This came into effect on the 9th of December 2022. We have not identified any difficulties. So that's all for my report. Thank you. In relation to this legal notice, 232 of 2022, would you like to form a subcommittee? Let me remind members that in relation to this piece of subsidiary legislation, the amendment period expires on the legal, legal meeting on the 18th of January. Two. Subsidiary legislation gets settled on the 23rd of December 2022. Legal advisor, there are five items of subsidiary legislation. Yes, thank you. The first one is LN233. This is to announce that um, the um, agreement signed in relation to the establishment of the International Organization for Mediation Preparatory Office the status of the office is personnel, the um, privileges and immunities. These PNIs include the inviolability of the premises, the data and records, uh, immunity from any legal proceedings in respect of words spoken or written in the discharge of their duties, PNIs enjoyed by representatives participating in the negotiation. And um, also, say for example, immunity from personal arrest. Please refer to paragraph two. We have not consulted the panel on the, um, administration of justice and legal service. Previously, we have sent a letter to the administration as to whether a definition should be made for certain terms. You will find the administration's reply in paragraph six. Subject to the views of members on that matter, we uh, think that there is no difficulty in drafting and uh, legal aspects. It came into operation on the 23rd of December. That is the date of its publication in the Gazette. That's all for my report for this item. Thank you. In relation to 233, subcommittee, legal advisor, please. In relation to the two legal notices, that's 234 and 235, they are in relation to um, uh, C traffic regulation. For LN 234, it is in relation to the Changquan O Cross Bay Bridge, Changquan O Interchange, and Changquan O South Southern Bridge. There will be designation of nine restricted areas. Vessels entering these nine restricted areas will be subject to height restrictions. Vessels exceeding the height restrictions without the permission of the um, director for marine will be prohibited. In relation to LN two three five, the legal effect is that the restricted new restricted areas, relevant height restrictions, and relevant provisions apply to local vessels. And on the 28th of November 2022, the administration consulted the panel on economic development. Members in general supported the amendments. And for these two not notices, they came into, co into operation on the 23rd of December last year. That is the date on which they were published. We have, we have uh, looked at these items and have not identified any difficulties. In relation to 234 and 235, um, would you like to form subcommittees? No hands. No hands. Next, we have subsidiary legislation gazetted uh, on the uh, 30th of December. And there are two items of subsidization. Uh, legal advisor, please. Oh, I beg your pardon, uh, Madam Chair, uh, for uh, those gazetta on the 23rd of December, there are still two outstanding items. Yes, LN 236 and 237, uh, subsidization announced under the UN sanctions 
regulation. They ought to give effect resolutions made by the uh, UN Committee on Sanctions Against uh, Central African Republic and Mali. For details, please refer to para 17 to 21 of our report. The two legal notices are made uh, under the relevant uh, regulation and is not subject to uh, amendment, but the Council is not required to be tabled. That's all for the subsidiary legislation gazetted on the 23rd of December 2022. Thank you. Does any member want to set up a subcommittee to study these subsidiary legislation items? No, thank you. Then uh, items gazetted on the 30th of December. There are two. Legal advisor, thank you. Please refer to paper number LS84 of 2022. LN238 is interest rate adjustment for tax reserve certificates. Tax reserve certificates issued on or after the 3rd of January 2023 shall be 0.5833%. And uh, we have uh, considered the uh, notice and it's in order. All right. Any requests to set up a subcommittee to follow up on LN238? A show of hands, please. All right. Legal advisor, please continue. The last. LN239, and that is Medical Registration Ordinance Amendment of Schedule 1A. 25 medical qualifications are to be added, and that include uh, those from uh, Shanghai, Jiaotong University, and Wuhan University, and also universities um, or qualifications awarded by universities in India, New Zealand, the UK, and the USA. Now, for persons holding the newly added medical qualifications, if they met all the other applicable requirements, then they can uh, register to be medical practitioners in Hong Kong. It came into effect on the date of Gazetto, and that is the 30th of December 2023, and it is in order. All right. LN239, the last item to be dealt with today. Any requests to set up a subcommittee to follow up? Dr. Lam, any others? Uh, Elizabeth Quatt and also uh, Mr. Chairman Kong and Mr. Dennis Leung. All right. That's all as far as subsidiary legislation is concerned. So for these five items, that is number 223-239. Now the date for giving amendments is the 8th of February. And by resolution, uh, it can be extended to the 15th of March, the sitting on the 15th of March. Item 4. This is for council meeting of uh, 11 of January 2023. Laying of paper on the table of the council. Now we have report number 1, stroke 2023 of the House Committee on consideration of subleg and other instruments. There is one item on the report and that is prohibition of feeding of wild animals notice 1999 amendment notice 2022 one member has indicated his intention to speak and so as the chair of the house committee i will move a motion to note the report at the council meeting b questions for questions approved by the president, please refer to the relevant web page. Government bills, first reading and second reading or debate to be adjourned. So far, no notice has been received. A government motion, again, no notice has been received yet. E, members motion. One, motion on comprehensively reviewing and improving Hong Kong's dental service system and manpower needs to be moved by Mr. Chen Han Pen. And second, motion on promoting the development of green transport to be moved by Mr. Chen Siu Hong. For wording, please refer to the electrical website. Five. Business for the council meeting of the 18th of January 2023. Eight questions. Members that have been allocated a slot uh, have been uploaded to the web logical website. Government bills, first reading and second reading, with debate to be adjourned. So far, no notice has been received. Government bills, second reading, 
consideration by committee and whole council at third reading. One, stamp duty amendment bill 2022. Two, companies amendment bill 2022. Three, births and deaths registration amendment bill 2022. D, government motion. So far, no notice has been received. E, members motion. Mr. Frankie Dick is going to move a motion on reinforcing Hong Kong's status as a regional logistics hub. Uh, since Ms. Chen Yip Ming, who was allocated a slot to move a motion, decided to withdraw her notice. So at that council meeting, we will only have one member's motion, and that is uh, the one from Mr. Frankie Yick. The deadline for giving notice is the 11th of January, a Wednesday. 11th of January, Wednesday. Then, position on bills committee and subcommittees. As at the 5th of January, we have two bills committees in action. We have five subcommittees under the House Committee and also five subcommittees uh, under panels uh, for uh, consideration of policy issues in action. And we have eight subcommittees on policy issues on the waiting list. AOB, we don't have any. Thank you very much for attending the meeting. And thank you for your support. Thank you.